Oh hey, it's waking up. Hello, alien overlord thing. Welcome to planet Earth. I am your host. My name is Yeti. Um, please don't feed me to your kids. I am very fond of life and... Are you ripping your head off? Please don't do that. Oh, you're, you're just a human. Hold up. Why are you so different? You look a attractive. How How is your skin so flawless and <laughs> you smell so nice? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will let go of your face. Hello, welcome to here. Uh, here doesn't really have a name, um, but we are glad to have you. I don't know why I said we, I'm just all alone. Um, hi. Oh, yes, you were in a spitting donut thing in the sky, and you crashed onto the floor. Cool, so, um, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm a bit awkward. I've not had much human interaction these past couple of years. I would hate to offend the first human I've met in a while, but what exactly were you doing flying in the air? Time Traveler? Wow, that is so cool. What's a Time Traveler? Dude, I think you hit your head harder than I expected. You were saying some very random stuff. Next thing you'll tell me is that you're a girl. Why are you looking at me like that? You can't be a girl. All girls died. What do you mean, what year is this? What kind of time traveler are you that you don't even know what year you travel to? Okay, fine. The year is 2040. 2040. Uh, yeah. All the women died 16 years ago, so you can't be a woman. You are just probably confused. Okay, fine, then prove it. Hold up, hold up. Who asked you to take your clothes off? I asked... Uh, Daddy, chill. Who even told you to take your clothes off? What? What did I say? Yeah, that's the phrase we use when we want someone to calm down. It's a collective phrase that everyone says. I'm not too sure who started it, but once long ago there was some wise, wise president whose name is unknown, but he said that phrase, and ever since it is used to stop all arguments. But that's besides the point. What I even mean is, who even asked you to take your clothes off? Well, I don't know how else you could prove it. I'm not gonna lie, I've never met a woman, or at least remember any that I've met, so I don't really know how you're supposed to be different. No, I'm very much serious. All women died 16 years ago. Well, I'm not gonna lie, we are rather unsure, but collectively all men agreed that there was this one dude named Thanos who really hated women, and he had this really cool glove thing, and he just snapped his fingers and just decided to erase all women. Ever? Yeah, I don't know, maybe his wife cheated on him and he's really salty, but that is what we think happened. How am I even supposed to tell if you're a girl though? I guess you do look different than any other guy I've ever seen, and your voice sounds different as well. I guess I have no choice but to believe you for now. But if you are who you say you are, I have one question. What the hell are you doing in this timeline? Well, why do you think? All women died 16 years ago. There is nothing but men. And 
if they find you, what do you think is going to happen? Hey, you don't have to be scared of me. I'm, I promise I won't hurt you or do anything. See, the difference is that all the older men who have met women and have experienced it kind of went off the rails when all women disappeared. But someone like me, who's never really ever met a woman, we have more control if you kind of get what I mean. So, so I guess you are rather safe around me. Either way, if you do decide to go out publicly, um, I would advise against that. Very much so. But, but don't worry, the area we're in is actually very secluded. I had to run away from this one group a while back and I had to run really, really far. So the area that we're in right now is far, far away from most men, so you will be safe for now. Yeah, your donut-shaped machine is kind of broken. It isn't too far from here. I can take you in a bit after you recover, but I don't think it's going to be working again anytime soon. So yeah, you are stuck in this timeline for now. But hey, on the bright side, at least there's equality amongst genders if you think about it. Okay, I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. But here, have this thing. Yeah, I found it on your spaceship, and I thought it was probably food or something, so here you go. It's not food? Are you sure? Because I could put it in my mouth like this, and... Hey? Okay, I'll take it out. What is it? A gun? What's a gun? Hey, relax. I wasn't going to do anything. Oh, it's a weapon. How does it work? Seriously? It, it can kill someone? Oh, okay. Well, I guess you can protect yourself better than I thought you could. <laughs> Maybe I could take you out around a bit if you want, but we still have to be safe either way, because if anyone finds out that a girl exists now, Word is probably going to spread, and you won't be safe for very long. Oh, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I don't have any friends, or anything like that. So yeah. Why I live alone? Well, I guess I can give you a bit of a backstory. After women vanished, everything went to chaos, and like, shit happened, and... The population of humanity is like less than 1% now of what it was at its peak. And apparently back then there was like luxury and all that. But right now everything is a disaster. There is no sustainability whatsoever. And people have secluded into certain groups to survive and not be hunted by animals and stuff like that. However, the group I was assigned into, it wasn't the best people there. They were trying to harm me, and they were trying to harm me, and I didn't realize then. And when I did, it was too late, and so I had to run far away from them to be safe. And for now, I guess I've been living by myself. Yeah, surviving isn't the easiest thing. Sometimes it can be hard to hunt for food, but I guess I make it work. But truth be told, the hardest thing about all of this is being alone. As you can kind of tell, I'm not very good at communicating with others. But that's fine, because at least I have you around now. Um, would you want to be my friend? No? Why not? You're not here to make friends. Okay, okay, okay I guess. That's cool. L let's just totally forget that I just saved your life and all of that. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to get, like, 
emotional or anything. I'm just putting it out there. But I'm just saying, you would probably want a friend in this timeline who knows how stuff works, so he could probably save your life again. Okay, fine, jeez, you play hard to get. Will you please be my friend? Pretty please? Oh, really? Ah, thank you. I guess I will help you fix your ship. That's what friends do, right? They help each other. Or so I've been told. Hey, as a friend, can I ask you a question? What is that thing on your chest? Can I touch it? It looks very... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Relax, I'm sorry. I didn't know what it was. Okay, fine. Jeez, no touching. It just looked, it just looked like it was there, you know? Like, if you see mine, mine are, like, way harder. See? Okay, fine, fine. I'll stop talking about it. Jeez. No wonder Thanos decided to kill a woman. You're so overdramatic. Hmm? No, nothing. Nothing at all. You just rest and recover. Because your injuries are pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. I'll try and hunt for some food. You just... Stay here, friend. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to call you. What's your name again? That sounds stupid. But okay, that's your name. I shall call you that from now on. My name is Yeti. That is not a stupid name. It, it's a very cool name. You're just jealous, time traveler. Stop trying to get in my head, okay? Do you want food or not? Yeah, I figured. Now stay here and just shut up, I guess. I'll be back. <laughs>